If you're here, you're suffering from saddle pain. And the reason for your pain may be different than mine, but today, maybe we can come up with a solution together. Hi, it's John and welcome to Cycling on a Shoestring. Great to have you here. And before we get to today's review and we talk about an issue that may be causing you a pain, I've got my record up there like I'm doing on all my videos from down here in my studio in the basement. Billy Joel's The Stranger Album. Billy, my favorite artist of all time. Just the way you are. Scenes from an Italian restaurant. Only the good die young. Vienna. So many more. Great record. Start to finish. The video today is something I was reluctant to do, but I spoke to my wife and she said, John, you might be able to help somebody out if you do this video. Now, having a saddle and getting a saddle for your bike can be rather difficult and it can be a pain. Saddles are very subjective. What works for me might not work for you. And, you know, I've had the same saddle on my road bike for a number of years and it's the best saddle I've ever had, the most comfortable saddle I've ever had. But as of late, it's been causing me some problems. So let me explain. I have a problem called varicocele, which to be blunt is varicose veins where I sit on my saddle. Now, saddles that have an open channel down the middle don't work for me because that relieves pressure on your perineum. This is more to the side and that's my issue. The long saddle I've got is putting pressure there, which makes my rides very uncomfortable. Now you may be suffering from saddle pain simply because you don't have the right saddle or you just find regular bike saddles like road bike saddles really uncomfortable. And I'm looking for um, a solution to that today so that I can get out on my bike and get some long rides in. I recently did a 100K ride, which was pretty uncomfortable, uh, but I did it for a recent review. And I started looking around and I came up with this. This is a uh, saddle from Physique called a Transiro Mystica. Now this is made for triathletes, okay? So for people who are doing triathlons and time trials. People who are in time trials are bent over the front of their bars for long periods of time and they get a lot of pressure on their perineum and it causes saddle pain. So as you can see, this one's missing a large part of its nose. This saddle actually two inches shorter than the saddle I've currently got on my bike. Now I paid $180 for this saddle um, and you might think that's not a shoestring budget type of thing, but if it gets me back on my bike riding regularly, this is well worth the money. And hopefully this will work out for me. Now there are a lot of strange looking saddles out there for people who have issues with that pressure on their perineum and underneath in that really tender spot, but they look really weird. I wanted to get something that looked good on my bike. Maybe it's a vanity issue, but I think this might do the trick. So what I'm going to do in this review is we're going to take a look at this saddle. I'm going to put it on my bike. I'm going to have to adjust it, and I'm going to go for some rides and report to you what this saddle feels like and whether this is something that might work for you if you're suffering from varicocele. 10 to 15 to 20 percent of men suffer from it, or if you're suffering from saddle pain because the saddles just don't work for you. So let's take a close-up look at this. And I'll get out on a ride and we'll give it a test. So here's a direct comparison from the saddle I have on my bike, the Ergon SR3. By the way, Ergon makes really good saddles. If you've never heard of them, check them out. And then you've got the Physique on the top, which is a huge, huge difference. I've kind of got them lined up on the back to give you an idea how much shorter that front end is. Um, 240 millimeters for the Physique. The Ergon is 290 millimeters long. It is a much wider saddle, so that's something I'm going to have to deal with. But I'm thinking when I put this on my bike, I'm going to set it up more like this because my sit bones are going to be sitting back here, and that's going to be similar to the physique on the top. So you can see this is a huge difference at the front. I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to deal with it, but hopefully it will alleviate my problem with the varicose seal. And if you're dealing with pain from your saddle, maybe this could be a solution for you as well. Let's take a closer look at this saddle. It's got some really nice features on it, and then we'll take it for a ride. Here's a close-up look at the saddle, and from what I understand, this is very similar to the Aerion model from Physique, a little different because it hasn't got that front end on it, 
but it's a nice looking saddle. It weighs 230 grams with everything included from what I understand. And if you look down the middle, you can see it's got that channel there for your perineum to take some of the pressure off there as well. And looking closely at it, you can definitely see uh, there's two different types of material on here. Now, the model that came before this that was very similar was called the Tritone. People complain because this material is very slippery. So they changed that and put this down the middle, which is very tacky. I mean, it's almost sticky. So you're not going to slide around on your saddle. Now, if you're somebody who moves around a lot, that might be a bit of a problem. But I like that, that that's on there. I've been on saddles before, and sliding around is no fun at all. It's got this long piece at the back here, very pointy. I'm thinking you're going to be sitting across here with my sit bones. So I think I'm going to be moving this back so we'll have lots of space at the front to re uh, relieve the problem I'm having, which is varicocele. It might relieve your problem depending on what you're dealing with or if you're having uh, saddle pain as well. It's a pretty thick saddle, pretty firm uh, when it comes to the foam that's on the inside of it. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to move my uh, seat post down a little bit on it. Uh, the rails on the bottom, uh, Kiam rails are what they're called. They're not carbon fiber, although you can get this in carbon fiber. I don't have the right seat post on my bike. It will t take a few grams off the bicycle, off the uh, seat. Uh, but again, at 235 grams, it's not all that heavy. Kind of a carbon fiber plastic base on it. And if you look closely, you can see this little bracket at the back here, which is kind of cool. What's that for? Well, again, it's a triathlon type saddle. It comes with this little bracket right here that goes on the back. And you can put a water bottle on either side of this. So we put another cage on and a water bottle can hang from the side. And as you can see, it's got a little hole in the bottom that you can screw your CO2 cartridge in there. And it's got these little arms arms at the top here. If you want to strap in maybe an extra tube or maybe some arm warmers or something, that goes on the back. So that's kind of a neat thing. Again, for triathletes, but you never know if you're on a long ride and you don't have a place to stop and you want to carry some extra water, that will come in handy. Now at the front here, you can see the little hook on here. Well, again, that's for transitions for triathletes. Throw your bike up on the bar and it won't slide off. So it's a nice looking saddle, not all that heavy. You're going to have to see how it feels out on the road. And I guess that's what we're going to have to do now. We'll put this on the bike. I'm going to um, adjust it a little bit and then I'm going to take it for a ride and we'll see if this is the solution to my varicocele. And we'll see if this is the solution to your saddle problems as well. I'm about to change the saddle on my bike. I'm going to take my ergon off here. Before doing this, though, I've marked where my seat rails are on the seat post with a, a Sharpie. I've actually marked it down here as well at the bottom so that if I want to put it back on, I can readjust it. I've measured from just underneath the tip of my saddle to the top tube, which is 200 millimeters. And I've measured from the top of the saddle here down to the top of the seat tube, 196 millimeters, so I can get some idea how high I want the new saddle, this uh, Physique saddle on here. Fore and aft with this saddle is going to be a crapshoot. Generally, when I put a new saddle on the bike, I uh, put it flat. So perfectly flat, parallel to the ground, and then I tip it just slightly, a millimeter or two, and that's where I like it, so I don't have too much weight on my hands, but I'm not sitting too far back. It's not tilted too far back to create that uncomfortable feeling. Uh, again, it's gonna take a road test with this saddle in order to get it set up properly. Now, as far as how far back it's gonna go on the rails, basically I'm looking at back here where the widest part of the saddle is and how it's hanging down in behind my brakes below it. That's kind of how I'm gonna set it up just to eyeball it at first. But again, it's gonna take going out and actually testing it. So let's take this one off. I never thought I'd be doing this. We'll adjust it, we'll put the new saddle on and then I'll have to take it outside to see if um, it works and it uh, alleviates my problem and it might be a, a, a way to alleviate your problem as well. So here we go. So there we go. I eyeballed it on the rails. 
I set it up for 16 newton meters up here, which is the torque specification that's on the seat post. Nine down here, which is on uh, the top tube here, right at the uh, seat tube where it uh, attaches on there. So it's all up to spec. I set it up with uh, the sit bone sort of hanging just again to the back of my brakes, lined it up a little bit, but it's going to take uh, going out and giving it a ride. And overall, I think it looks pretty good on there. It's a pretty uh, a good looking saddle. It looks a little unusual, but I think it looks pretty cool. I like unusual things, so we'll have to take it out. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go out. I'm going to adjust it, take a few rides, uh, adjust it, and then later on this afternoon go out for a ride on it and see if this is uh, a solution to my problem. So there you go. Looks pretty good. I'm about to go out on a ride, and uh, since I put it on the bike, I've moved it back a little bit on the rails, and I've tilted the nose down just a little bit. I did a little riding here at the back of the house to kind of get it in the place where I want it. Can't really say at this point whether this saddle is going to be a solution to my varicocele or whether it'll help you if you're having numbness or pain while you're riding on your bike. I'm going to take it for a 50k ride right now. We'll see what it's like and I'll do some reporting while I'm riding and then have a final summation when I get back here to the house. Initial uh, thoughts on this saddle, just 10K in. First off, I'm surprised, it's a very comfortable saddle. Uh, what I notice most about it is that because it's shorter than my other saddle and it's got thicker padding on it, I notice that it's not as flexy, so I seem to feel a road vibration more on this saddle than my Ergon saddle. And that's what I really liked about that saddle. Because of its length and how thin it is, it flexes a little bit, not bouncy flex, but enough to take some of that road vibration away. Now, as far as not having the nose on this saddle, it's really strange because I thought I would miss that nose, but you don't even know that it's not there. And it's, it's very interesting until you look and it's not between your legs. Um, as far as pressure in down near your perineum, I can't say at this point, just being 10K into this ride, whether I'm going to be relieved of any issues with my varicocele or whether this would be the saddle for you if you suffer from pain in your groin, okay? It uh, right now feels comfortable. I think that might have to do with the fact that it's a little wider uh, nose, what nose is left than was on my other saddle. But I'll do more of a report when I get home after I've done about 50K. I have a better idea whether this is a, a solution to our problems. I'm back after riding on the Physique Mystica for about an hour and 45 minutes. And let me just give you my general thoughts. What I like about the saddle, first of all, it's a very comfortable saddle. I was surprised how much I liked it. I really like the fact that it had this uh, no slip material on top of it, which is really nice. Um, I also think that you don't really notice that it's missing the front end of the saddle. It's not something that you really pay much attention to. It's just not there. Now, did this solve my problem when it came to varicocele and can this solve your problem when it comes to pain while riding? Well, first of all, for my, is uh, my issue, um, it helped. Did it solve the problem? No. Uh, it still gets some pressure underneath because there is still a nose on this saddle. What I think did help was the fact that it is wider up front here than my other saddle, so it was an improvement. So that's good news. Uh, as far as you, if you're suffering from pain when you're riding on a saddle, uh, I think this can help, and I think it's definitely a good thing if you're somebody who draw, rides in the drops a lot, because when you're leaning down more over your bars and you're down in your drops, you really notice that that front end of the saddle isn't there. It's a very comfortable saddle. The problem for me was that it was replacing my most favorite saddle of all time, that Ergon I just took off, which I absolutely love. So it's a hard to compare this to that, but it is a comfortable saddle and I think it did solve my problem. Now, is it a $180 uh, solution? 
No, I think there are other options for me, and I think that may be medical. I have seen, obviously, a GP. If you know you have varicocele, you've seen your family doctor. Maybe you can see your urologist. I've been referred to a urologist, so perhaps that can solve my problem in the future. But overall, I think physique's got a nice saddle here, but it's not a solution to uh, my particular issue. And I can't say 100% it'll be a, a, a solution to saddle pain, because saddles are tough. Go to a place that uh, will allow you to try out a number of different saddles at a bike shop, find the one that fits you, and eventually the saddle pain will go away. I always say a saddle has to wear in your butt, and you have to wear in the saddle as well. Now, if you're looking for other options though, perhaps you wanna click on the video that's popping up right here and check out the Aero Elastic Saddle that I reviewed in the winter time. If you think this with no nose is weird, this has no front end on it at all. It's really strange, so check it out. Click on the link above. Now, if this uh, was a helpful video to you, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell as well for notifications. I'm getting closer to 500 subscribers. I'd like to thank you for watching this video on Cycling on a Shoestring.